man, it's just this is so fucking crazy. Oh, fucking man. Don't get to back gym very often, so when we can, we do. I will not be broken. Should be my fucking uh, LinkedIn profile. Hi, retired poor streamer. Will not be broken. Thank you. Mom. Well, don't tempt me, Frodo. Capped. Relatively capped. Nine zeros, whatever. Capped, though. Oh, that's okay. And also plays really well multiway. Just to give you an idea, though, because a lot of people don't know this, but like King Queen, Queen Jack suited, King Jack suited are all pure gems there for 50, 60 bigs. It's so funny how limping is completely back. But not for the reason your favorite television pros are saying it. You see, I don't think the people, I don't think people that generally limp that are old school would limp jam for 40 bigs having ace five suited, etc. And I feel like if you don't do that, then you shouldn't be limping. That's too bad. Wow, that 4 got bluffed off of uh, 35 bigs. Uh, I'm gonna check here. Um, I think that's, it's sort of like, might sound like an easy sort of thing um, to absolve. I think it's a good uh, way of saying it yourself of it, but I think it happens in all walks of life, right? Like, um, all right, so remember guys, there is a bounty on my head in the home game. One purple bottle of Mad Monk ready for your enjoyment. Okay. Uh, from 35, under 35 of lines, we start to check raise top pairs, but not all of them and not in every situation. Um, I will say, and Queen Deuce is like the last one. We start check raising them hierarchically, right? So the better kickers first, the best properties first. Max bullets, max effort legs. Fucking Brinich in the fucking comments in the home game is just flaming me. <laughs> what strategies do you employ to manage your bankroll effectively during the rebuilding process? Um, play the correct stakes? Always the answer. Alright, I've checked all the way. polarized there so let's not include the bounty Big spot, big spot. I had a skin with the Ace of Diamonds. Oof, that's a tough one. Okay. All my hard earned money gone. Nice. It's uh, pretty important. For the YouTube algorithm. Seems like we could wrap uh, tens, jacks, queens. This way. Even just value gems from 9x, I think. King X, of course, I have as well, still. Yes, they're gonna hear on me sometimes. But that shouldn't be 
the reason not to make these moves, right? You can't even think of all the things that uh, regulators don't allow. So it's like, you know, and then crypto is a whole... Uh... Okay, so if we do better here, huge spots. Wow, the rematch. Queens versus eights. Nice, that's better. Bigger tournament as well. Nice. Holding the threes. Otherwise, this is a $75, $2, $75, $2 tournament for me. <laughs> oh, they call as well. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. They made a 3x pre flop and then just bet 75% pot, and I get a flat. I'm stacking a big blind. Dear lord. Run! Jeez. Whoa. I mean, surely you can fold 4x there. Been a while, good luck today. What's up, bro? I'm good. Oh, that's all I was doing. There's even the right suits, club. Yeah, that was my move as well. It's okay though, you know, they could have like a uh, like king queen and call me and whatever. Storm is not going as it should so far. Nice uh, pot there. All right, so let's go. Tens, fours, let's go. 65 big blind pots. Getting close to the money in the stack. Oh, Saurus. Easy. I wonder, I wonder how... I wonder if you look at his hands, if ace-king is pure, you know? That'd be super interesting. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna limb raise. Um, I think I want to take a page from that uh, hand that we played, that we ran yesterday. Um, I don't think my ASEX uh, plays as a limp raise very often. My strongest ASEX raises a lot of my weaker ASEX limp calls. We do have four, of course. So I think that's really cool, you know? So I think it's really important when you look up hands and when you study is that you um, try to learn from a hand. And I think that this last time uh, we were race calling pre-flop now we're limp raising and we get called but it's the same sort of mechanic that says uh, teaches us something about an ace high board so in my opinion so i think we do well here to uh to check a lot on the flop we saw a 70 percent uh check actually in the other example Fucking amazing. Okay, nice run out, good hands. Uh, this player is really wild, so I want to let him do wild things, you know? Like, really wild. If they do something crazy here with a marginal hand, I'm going to change the notes to purple. Got a feeling about today's session and winning the stack of swords at least. Love it. Alright, I'm just gonna jump. 
If this person actually has a good hand, I'll be so dis disappointed. They called off 35 big blinds with fours. They've been so fucking crazy. All right. Um, crazy enough to the point where I don't want to flat because if somebody plays balance, for instance, they might have some weaker ace x or some crummy queen that I dominate. But now there's going to be like jack eight suited, jack nine suited in there, and I don't want them to see the flop, right? So. Story checks out. Story checks out. Holy shit. Okay. Three out of 52. I think I don't I struggle to find Queen X. Um I'm gonna lose I think that's you know this is gonna be ten a lot, I guess. Maybe some eight nine even, but um I think I uh, struggle to find uh, calls after I check the turn on that board, so And that's okay. It's okay to lose, it's okay to call and lose, you know. It's the same thing about bluffing. If you always call and win, then you're not calling enough. A little bit of a rough spot, uh, also of course because a 10 doesn't give me the nuts. Still gonna call a small bet, of course. Because we still beat bluffs, right? We're still ace 10, king 10, king 9, ace king, ace 5. I believe. Okay. okay, that's a good card. Takes away uh, two combos of sixes, which is nice. There's no a6, there's no a7 suited, no fucking way. Uh, ace 10 suited? Maybe. Sevens is the biggest problem, but there's also like a plethora of hands that I beat, right? So. Boom! Boom. 180 big line pots. Fucking nice. Jesus Christ. Maybe it's good. Doesn't have to be bad, you know. There's plenty of ASEX in his defending range there. Now, if there is a club, a deuce or an ace, then I have a reason to moan for real. I am owning and I am so fearless. Don't you like it? Uh, it's kind of a good card. I mean, don't get me wrong, like... If they bet here, I think they're going to be super fucking strong. I'm just saying like that card, I think, is going to generate more checks. Not because of what the card is for them. Oh, fuck, man. These are these like fucking two-third pop pads just don't make any sense. Well, it's actually three quarters. I don't know. I think it's just, I think it really looks really strong still. I just think that really good players, they they make sure they get to all in that hand, right? 
Um, it's definitely not like one of those wonky sort of like half pot bets that we see with bluffs that just are always bluffs. It's okay though, you know. Don't need to win them all. Seven big blind stack. Close to the money. The biggest stack that's in this hand is in the small blinds. Also an advantage. Paint a picture in the sky. Don't check, guys. I have big plans for this hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's so funny. It's a great card, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's so funny. I just really wanted to triple barrel, like, bang the turn, bang the river, bang, bang, bang. Okay. In the meantime, we have 100 big blind stack and the stack of Soros. We're uh, abiding by this tournament's name. Fuck, man. I folded eight. How do I not have a time bank at the big 33? That is so fucking maddening. It's the second time I fold a really strong hand. It's fine, you know? I can, I can, man, I can, I can lose the biggest things that you could ever possibly fucking imagine and just think, okay, whatever. And then I time out a hand and I'm Fuming. Pocket eights? Pocket sevens? Pocket nines? God, I hope it's not some like nitty check back with kings or something on the flop because we're scared. That would be a problem. What if it's a 10? Oh my god. <laughs> why am I, why am I, why am I, why am I, uh, being so uh, negative. <laughs> what if it's this? What if it's that? I was afraid of this happening. I have a bad feeling about this one. So it's five, six and things. Okay. Okay, too high in my range. I have a bad feeling about this one. Okay, so now he's saying I have King Queen. <laughs> right? I have King Queen or nothing? Just, I don't know. Whatever. 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 I'm probably folding way too high up. I just don't think. Whatever. It's one of those. It's one of those. I don't think I'm gonna do that next time. It's one of those super weird. All right, it's, it's kind of flat there. These are the kind of spots where you really hope your opponent checks or... I mean, small bets are fine, I guess, too. Ideally, because they're gonna get Jackson preflop, so I'm smashing this guy's range. So ideally it goes jam, fold. That, that's like our dream scenario here. If it goes jam, call, jam, whatever, then we might be in trouble. Three spots off the money against the chip leader as third place, so... No king, no ten. Ah. This is really fucked. I guess I'm just gonna flip a coin. Zero to fifty, we call. Okay. <clears throat> That's a pretty uh, narrow spot with a third player involved as well. Tough hand, tough hand. Hey, Lex, what uh, tools do you use to uh, study and prove your game? BBZPoker.com. BBZPoker.com. It is the fucking shit. Has everything from free videos to bundles to seminars to subscription seminars to coaching for profit all the subjects that you always want to know about everything we will be fine unbreakable poker player still got 40 bigs all right now the games begin the games begin for real 
So I don't know exactly. Would we'll be curious myself. All right, so I saw 40 big blinds. We uh, three bets a nine. I just solved something uh, like this yesterday. So uh, yeah, that helps, you know. Bum ba da bum bum bum. Can a hand just work out? Easy. And the one group that we go with is like alternating having kids. You know what I mean? Like everybody's having babies like every other year. Okay, let's go. Huge. Oh my god. $200 in bounties. We're back. We're back. Call it a comeback. Woo! It's just a matter of time. Okay. That is fine. I'm not doing it to give myself a shot after the after the hand is over. I'm doing it to take the bounty out of the equation uh, when it comes to odds for calling, etc. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to call this down. I am gonna have to call this down. Jack 10, wow. 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 That's a big check. That's a big check, sir. Ooh, doesn't bluff bottom of range. I guess it's more efficient to bluff like fours and deuces and fives. But still. Ooh, that's a big check. Raising under the gun. First the big blinds. Have all the fucking shitty ass aces. Ooh. 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 Okay. It's, so it's the right strategy to do only in bounty builders. Yep. Dex. 113 it is. Oh, you're unlucky. I rolled a really nice low number. No more efficient bluff than seven deuce in this scenario. Ba -ba -ba. What a bluff. What a bluff. Wow. Put it in. I think it's still bets Jack is queen on the turn. And he definitely has those in there. <laughs> Man, it's so fucking funny, dude. It's so fucking funny, bro. Fucking hell, man. Man, it's just this is so fucking crazy. Every fucking hand. Every fucking hand. Every fucking table. Holy shit. Okay. All right, little bro is on a rocket to Mars.
I mean, we're doing what we can, you know? Like, I'm fucking... Uh, we're doing what we can. Like, I'm out, I'm out there fucking battling. I will take it all with a smile from now on. I want to smile so hard my fucking teeth break out of my mouth. Still need to be sub to join this Discord. No, it's been, uh... It's been open to everybody for, like... I don't know. Eight years? Okay. Okay, okay. Nice. That's a shove and a half. I mean, it's easier, easier, easy in hindsight or whatever, but I don't know. It's hard. It's a big bounty, but this hand contains a lot of strong hands. This is like tens, jacks, and stuff still in there. So like, this three but just looks so strong to me. And you smashed all the bluffs though, I guess. Kings! So we have a hundred big blind uh, chip leader. Man, I would love for you to shove. Fuck. He's gonna shove a lot. Also though. I need to bet. I need to bet. It sounds ridiculous, but I need to bet. I would bet this board 100% with my entire range. That includes kings. I need to bet, I just can't. Vote trekking, thank you for the three months. Or I need to bank on the fact that he doesn't respect my game. Okay, we're six out of eight. Everybody's so close though. Like, I'm easily in seconds with one double. Even if I win half my stack, I'm in second. That's fucking wild, isn't it? I'm in second or third. Shit's about to go down. Yeah. Alright, shelf stack, shelf stack. I mean, $400 bounty. Like, what's good? Let's go. Come on, Efkinus. Okay. Uh, money jump. Not important enough for us to uh, consider folding. Okay, let's go. Come on. Look at that, go to 35 big blinds. We're in a big fat second position if we win this hand. $280 bounty out there. I mean, if we win Jax versus Ace-9, we have the same stack that we had before the hand, you know, it's just... I mean, it's... That's our day saver tournament right there. 